What's going on you guys? It's your boy Drax here. Today we're gonna go over Endless Judgment. We're gonna go over his card, his book of demon, and with some gameplay because I need to get a better card for my level four. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna go we're gonna go here over Endless Judgment. We're gonna go over his cards real quick. And uh we're gonna start at card level one. Okay, this card right here is really good. This card is good for any player, whether you're a whale or a free-to-play player. It is amazing. Let me tell you why. You want the Bleed Guard Efficiency Sheet of 100%. On top of that, you want your MP region and attack, and I'll explain to you why. You want your Bleed as much as you can because Virgil is a Bleed character. Endless Judgment is a Bleed type character. So every time you would activate your judgment cuts, you activate bleed damage on top of that, which will weaken the enemy and you can apply more damage for, uh, towards it. If you're doing a raid, your whole team will apply a lot more damage, especially critical damage. Because if when you have four of them together, you have four phantoms, it increases your attack crit rate by 20% and attack crit damage by 20%. So that is absolutely amazing. You always, you always want to have that in each and every single one of your cards. Even as a free-to-play player. If you have this card and it's level 25 at 100% on Bleed Guard Efficiency, that is amazing. You can carry your grade. You could carry your team with that card. It is great. Now let's head over to level 2. And I'll get over to level 1 with it just in a second. So this card right here is also really good. This card, I have another 100% bleed, another crit damage, another plus MP region and attack, and also a little bit of defense, which is all right, you know. You get a little bit of defense on top of the uh, the base defense you already have of, of 639. Really good card. Really great. Now, because I have this one on 100% bleed and the other one too, it stacks to 200%. So when you're doing a boss hunt, a raid boss, or even mobs, even a solo, you will like obliterate everything in your path because you have these two together. You have 200% bleed gauge efficiency, which is absolutely great. Especially like when you're uh, playing against a raid boss on boss hunter, like when you get to that phase where he's going berserk and you got to do bleed damage. I feel like every time you activate a single judgment cut or even two, you will get it more than half. So the next time you activate the other two, you will just break it immediately. And any oh, right after the whatever it is that you can do just to gain, just to get as much damage as you can against that boss. And that's just these two cards alone. These two cards alone are insane together. Even as a free to play player, I'm telling you guys, if you guys are, are playing this game for free, and you don't want to pay you can do this if you are patient enough and you save all your resources correctly for these kinds of cars because these are the cars that you guys want for your endless virgil now let me jump to my level three card my level three is insane this card right here alone and i've been saying this even in my past video this card alone if you have a 48 percent crit this card alone right here, ladies and gentlemen, will carry you through the entire game as a free-to-play player. This card alone, this crit damage, 48.05 right here. Remember this card. If you can get this card, right if it's Phantom, uh, um, Beowulf, ne Nevin, anything. If you can get this card, that will be absolutely amazing. Your Endless Virgil... Or any other character will do insane amount of crit damage it will be insane you can carry like a whole raid just on this card alone it is great dude like even if you're doing solo or story or mob or realm this card alone will get you in those high places now let me get to my level four to be honest with you i don't really like my level four that much my level four is not so great so i'm gonna try to like get a better one the reason why is because of the hp i don't need hp my character is already like high up there because it's ex and it's level 80 so if you have this card level four 
you want to get a physical card. And I'll show you how that looks like in a second. Let me show you. Hold on. Hold on. Where is it? It is... Oh, I'm looking at my level three. Whoops. It is right over here somewhere. I know I have it. Mm, do I have it? I don't think I have it. No, I got to get another one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't have it. I don't have a physical card level four. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that, guys. But anyway, the only reason why I have this card equipped is because of the MP region. I instantly get alts every time I would do a perfect angler's cut and a combo right after. Instant. That's why I have MP regions on almost all of them, aside from my level three. But these four cards alone are insane. They're absolutely great. So now before I get into my Book of Demon, I'm going to try to get a, a level four card. Hopefully it will be a physical card. I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to try like two or three of these, see if I can pull one. And if not, I'm going to go right into my uh, Book of Demon. So I can explain to you guys how... The book alone and the runes stack a lot of damage with your angels Virgil. Whoa, that was a bit of lag there. You see how I quickly build up lead? Watch this, guys. Oh, all right. Nice, nice. Nice dodge there. Look, I just did one cut and he already almost got bleed full already. Look at that. One judgment cut already makes him have bleed. Just one because of those two cards that I was talking about. When you have them both stacked together, it is insane. Oh, I got a platoon. All right, let's go again. Hopefully I'll get a nice level four. Yeah. Mm. Let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. All right, we got a level four, but it's platoon. Ah. Oh, that hurts. I'm going to try one more time, and I'm going to go into a Book of Demon with you guys, all right? I got a question mark? I never got that before. Whoops, meant to get spiral swords, but it's all right. It happens sometimes. That's it. Let's see what I'll get. I got another platoon. Mm. Ooh, that hurts. Let me try one more time. One more time. One more time for you guys. All right, not bad. Let's see what I'll get. I got a Beowulf and I got Platoon and I got a Cerberus, but we don't want that right now. What we want is a good level four physical card. All right. Oh, you gotta come quickly, so he doesn't go. Yeah, you know he doesn't go berserker mode right away, and he takes longer to kill. I'm just gonna alt right here, finish the job real quick. Boom. I got another platoon. Okay. 
I'm gonna use like five soul sweeper here. Ooh, did I get it? No, no. Come on, let me get lucky. Please, game. Please, pretty please. Let me get a good level four. Ooh, it's a good crit damage though. But it's defense. Ah. Well, I might have better luck next time. Okay, we're going to go right into his uh, Book of Demon now, guys. <clears throat> okay, let me explain this this um, right here real quick. You want to upgrade your Book of Demon, even for a free-to-play player. The Book of Demon, you guys, will increase your damage. And not only will it increase your damage, but it will also increase the damage applied to your character as well. Like, let's say you're using Endless Virgil. It says here, increase the damage against bleeding targets by 48%. Like, what did I just show you with those two cards? My level 1 and my level 2 both have 100% bleed gauge efficiency. And on top of that, with this book, when you have a good card like that, and you are constantly using your judgment cut, and, the, and your enemy is on bleed. On top of the crit damage that you're already applying. And this book. You will almost instantly kill every single thing in front of you. Just like I just did when I was trying to get the, the fourth card on slots. That was amazing. That's what I'm telling you. You got to have everything mixed together. Even as a free to play player you guys. like You will apply so much damage. If you get your runes up. I know it will take you a little longer, but it's worth it. My runes right now are level 4, but getting into level 5 is insane. You need 3 level 4s to get 1 level 5. But in due time, you will get it if you're patient enough, my friends. Like, Guys, I'm telling you, if you are patient and you stack up those runes, eventually you will be applying so much damage, even as a S character or SS plus character. Whatever the case may be, you don't really need to get them to EX. With this combination alone, with the cards and the book, you will apply a lot of damage. Look at this. Let's look at the second part. Increase the damage of Endless judgments, Judgment Cut by 48%. So you get another 48% on top of whatever it is that he is on. On S, 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 S+. Plus, EX on top of that even in your cards it all applies together you guys and let me show you the purple runes the purple runes are good as well with with uh the purple runes you could use a Dante if you do not have endless Virgil you could use a Dante and apply this to your Dante as well you get a nice little attack boost of 320 defense of 220 and hp of uh, 1795 you guys this is pretty good and you get an increased damage against bleeding targets by 26 percent which is absolutely crazy i think it's really good both of them are great but obviously the the, the gold one is a lot better but guys even in purple it's still really good if you don't have an endless Vir uh, virgil and you want to use your Dante, this is it. That's how you do a lot of damage with your character, guys. Even as a free-to-play player, you will hit like a truck. <laughs> your characters will hit like a truck. It will be absolutely amazing. So, all right, you guys. There you have it. And one more thing. If you want to upgrade your books a lot faster, this is what you can do, too. You can go on Exchange. You can go on um, gems, right? And then you go right here on crude shadow stone. You see that? It'll cost you about 100 gems. But if you stack up your gems like at least 100 a week, or if you want to use like 200 a week, or maybe once a month, you could do that. It will still give you like 10,000 of one of those crude shadow stone to upgrade your books. You want to upgrade your books as much as you can or as, as soon as possible. Because uh, that's what gets you powerful real quick. My book is already level 40. 
the max the max level is level 50 on the books but yeah there you have it, you guys that's how you make your uh characters a lot better a lot stronger even for free to play so yeah this is my endless judgment this is how you roll with it my guys <laughs> well guys i hope that you like this video i hope that this video made you uh a better hunter helped you guys a lot with your cards your card builds your book builds every single thing so yeah guys I'll see you next time. I'm making a solo video as well. I'll leave that a surprise for you guys next week or this Saturday. Well, all right, you guys. Be safe out there. Have a great day. Peace.